She's Anna Tarillo. I'm Jake Siegel, and welcome back to the High School Sports Zone here on WOWK. Jake, what do you have coming up next for us? Well, Anna, pretty good game between St. Albans and uh, Nitro. This one really started off with a bang. Let's hit the highlights because, as we mentioned, Nitro taking a trip over to St. Albans. And uh, kind of like we said, beautiful night for some football, right? First quarter action. St. Albans going to get the football. Jamil Clayter going to take the handoff. And Anna, he's got one vision in mind, taking goes. it all the way to the end zone. Can you say Tutty? I love it. TD, big TD. Look at him go. For the Red Dragons, that's a way to start a game, <laughs> right? St. Albans again with it. The fans loving it. Quarterback Caden McCoy going to fake the handoff and even fakes out our own photographer. <laughs> because Jamil Klander going to run it in again for another score. Count them up. That's two touchdowns on the counter and another touchdown for the Red Dragons. Good start for them. A 14 0. Nitro with the ball this time. Quarterback Trevor Lowe going to hand it off to Deaudrey Boxley, who takes it into the end zone. And Nitro comes up and defeats St. Albans 28 21. They hold them off, getting their first win of the season. Pretty cool stuff right there. Very cool stuff. Now up next here, we have Minford at Chesapeake. They're both 1-0 in Lawrence County, Ohio tonight. Now first quarter Minford drive number two quarterback Elijah Vogel's song Lewis. He passed to Matthew Risner for a big gain in a first down. Um, same drive, running back Ty Wiggett waits for blocks, dances, scores fairly easily. Kick was good after that one. Minford up 7-0. Now later here in the first quarter, Chesapeake, lots of running, great misdirection keeper by QB14, Donald Richendollers. Love Sweet that name. Last name. Love, love it Down right the there. sideline, touchdown, kick good, score was tied 7-7 seven to seven at that point. Now final score here, Chesapeake 21, Minford wins this one, 54-21. My first time at Cabell Midland, found out the fans might be the craziest in the state. They were certainly loud tonight. J.J. Roberts dancing around the pocket, spins out and finds the end zone for six. And the Miners go up 6-0. But Parkersburg, a force to be reckoned with. They would come back. Bryson Singer, who's been pretty good for them all season long with a 30-yard bomb, connects with Sam Potts on the other end. And the road team would take a 7-6 lead. But I feel gray uniforms. <laughs> We're going to get you on. Yeah, let's do it. But that Roberts guy has a knack for scoring touchdowns. We'll probably see him later on in the show as well. And uh, he's going to be upcoming one more in just a moment here. Here he is, J.J. Roberts. And Anna, he even shows the 13 Sports Zone yeah. cameras some love right here. Oh, yeah. No throat slash like no we had the other slash night. No throat this time. And uh, they go on and win. Big, big win for them tonight as well. Now, Sometimes you get caught in traffic going to games. That's what happened to me it's when I arrived. Happened to us. <laughs> when I arrived at Hurricane, the Redskins were already up 21-0. So we have a Spring Valley pass to a wide open receiver, but the ball's overthrown. And right here, we're going to have an interception, courtesy of Hurricane. This was their only highlight of the night, folks. They fall 28-7. Spring Valley with a big th th three-score road win for them. Wow. Pretty cool. Now let's check out some scores from around the area. Sissonville takes down Logan 28 to 6, while St. Mary's down Scott 34 to 7. Buchanan Upshur loses to Ripley 38 to 7, and Buffalo beats Ravenswood 20 to 14. The Tulsa Rebels beat Clay County 22 14, and Gilbert County falls to Richwood 44 13. Now Nicholas County beats Shady Spring 19 to 13, and Mingo Central defeats Wayne 56 to 16. Van loses to Liberty Rally 35 zip and Wahama beats Corning Miller from Ohio. It's got to be the most fun name to say. I would say so. How about right the fun up. they're having here? Yeah, Lucas Valley is taking on Cole Grove, and the Cole Grove fans are hoping to see their team go 2 0. Up 7 6 early in third. Indian quarterback Andrew Indonis starts driving his team down the field with a nice pass to Ty Perkins there. A few plays later, the pair hook up again to put the Indians at the goal line. And they would go to the ground this time, pounding the ball in to take a 14 to 6 lead early in the third. These guys the, are good, Anna. They are. The Hornets would try to respond, but on third and long, Corey Borders can't connect the wideout Justin Hicks. But they would get a second chance on the penalty, as you see there, after getting the first down. A few plays later, Borders connects with Malachi Wheeler, who takes it 20 yards for the TD to make it 14 12. Luke, but Lucas Valley would hang on for the win, 34 to 19 final score in that one. All right, the Meeg Marauders are at Rock Hill. Both teams coming in winless, but the Rock Hill fans don't seem to mind. In the first quarter, the Marauders have good field position, but quarterback Hautler Cleveland throws it right into the arms of Logan Hankins, who unfortunately well, plays for the other team. <laughs> the Redmen would try to capitalize up the turnover, but the defense would step up for the Marauders as Wesley Metzger takes down running back Braden Field. Now near the end of the first, the Marauders would try to air it out again as we see the ball is overthrown. 
and want to let you know in the second quarter, the Redmond offensive line would start getting some movement up front. Fullback Hayden Harper has a good run right there, and his teammate Silver Kid finishes off at the goal line. They would take an 8 0 lead, but the Marauders would end up pulling away, winning 44 28. And now we take you to Huntington, Riverside at Huntington. As you'll see coming up here, full house. That's awesome. First quarter, Huntington up 14 zip on the drive again. Number eight to John Blackwell, hands off to number 10 running back Diallo Mitchell. There'll be a touchdown coming up here. Right there, that's Diallo Mitchell. The kick after this is going to be good. Highlanders will go up 21 zip. Riverside, though, not ready to roll over. Second quarter, Warriors fourth and goal. And quarterback Javante Elze, keeper, he scores coming up after this. They try for the two point conversion, no good. 21 6 Highlanders at that point. Now, after this second quarter, Huntington to punt. It is going to be, well, there's a nice little band at halftime. Love that. Look at that formation. That's pretty nice. That's nice. great. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's All good right. Stuff. So this one, let's see, we got a final score. All right, we're going to have to update. I think it was 21 14 and a half. We'll have to update one, that one in the post show. Yes, we will. The Russell Red Devils and Ironton playing a close game tonight. We picked this one up in the first quarter. The Ironton Tigers with possession of the football. And G Gage Sailors, not Gail Sayers, got to keep reminding <laughs> myself, with the ball looking to throw. And he's going to do so right here. He's going to connect with Jordan Grizzle through the air. And, Grizz and the Grizzlies make the run for the Tigers for the first down. Quick score, though. Uh, looks like we've got 10-0 in the final. We'll be right back. Stay with us.